Alright guys, so here we are. We're back, and it's time to fight Dark Knight, the final duel against the Dark Lord to decide if he will go back quietly and our planet will be left in peace. Let's do it. I've got the Millennium Cards, bitch. So here we are fighting Dark Knight. He's got his own battle theme. It's not my favorite theme in the game, but it is good. I will give it that. So it looks like I don't have much going on here in this deck, so I'm going to set down Widespread Ruin as a typical first move. I'll always like to do that because... Usually, if they have their strongest monsters, they will summon them on the first turn. So widespread rune on the first turn is always a good idea. Plus, it leaves them open for a life point attack, so... Oh, what? He set down a trap card? Dude, you can't do that! Fine, then I get to save widespread rune. That's fine with me. You know what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna take this time to put Mountain out. Power up my monsters. How you like that? Actually, you know what? Mountain kind of sucks. No, yeah, it does. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of, uh... Should I go for direct life points? I don't think so. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, uh, God, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna use Mountain. Okay. I've decided. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, this music is epic as hell, though, but come on, Dark Knight, let's do this, man. I'm ready. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna put down another magic card? Fine. Then I guess it's you're just asking to get your life points directly attacked. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna attack your life points. I'm gonna do it. All right, fine. So I'm gonna summon this guy here, because I have a feeling I'm gonna die anyway from his little uh, magic cards there. But we do have 3,100 attack thanks to Mountain. So let's see. What do you got? Oh, what? Really? You don't have like a widespread ruin, invisible wire, acid trap hole, anything. Are you serious? You're the Dark Lord. You can turn people into cards. You're Batman. You're the Dark Knight. And you're not gonna... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Black Skull Dragon. Wow, and I powered him up. That's my fault, I guess. And you're really not gonna try and stop me here. You're really not gonna try and stop me. <laughs> okay, fine. This could be it then. If you don't have anything back there that can stop me, this is it. You just lost. The Dark Knight. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that weakens me. All right, so that must have been like a shadow spell or something. But seriously, that's it? Those are the cards you have? You just got owned, Dark Knight. Go back to where you came from. Suck it. Yeah! We win! Victorious! Rose Spectre of the Dead. Good card. 2,000 base attack. Doesn't matter, though. Game is over. We won. Egypt is saved. Dark Knight will go back to where he came. The, this is not fair. Me? Me? I cannot lose. I created the cards. No. No! I cannot lose! You just did. Oh my god! He just evolved! Come, boy! One more time! One more game! Oh my god! Okay, guys, and now we are doing it. We are fighting the final, final, final boss. This is seriously the last boss. This is Nightmare, or this is Dark Knight. He's transformed into his super alter ego, Nightmare. This is Nightmare. This is the guy that created the cards. He's putting up one last fight. If we beat him, Egypt is saved. Let's put down a widespread rune. It worked well last time. Now, Nightmare doesn't typically have that much better cards than Dark Knight, but he does have a few better cards. He plays more strategically, so be careful. Use your best cards. Use everything you have at this point in the game. Oh, shit. Meteor Black Dragon. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that sucks. But it's dead. Widespread ruin. Ha, ha, ha. Bitch. All right, so now let's see what we got. All right, I'm going to get rid of all these cards because I do not have time to be uh, fluxing it up here to be wasting my time with crap cards. Because honestly, Firewing Pegasus and Guy the Fierce Knight, I love you guys, but you're not going to do it in this battle. I need Powered Up Thunder Dragons. I need Meteor Bee Dragons. I need freaking just strong things. Megamorphs. I need 3,300 attack direct life point damage because this is it right here. This is it. The final duel with Nightmare. Okay, what are we doing here? What do we got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh god, oh it's a perfect ultimate great moth. Called it. I wish I didn't call it, but I did. He's there. Okay, we're gonna defeat him. We gotta stop this guy. What do we got? What do we got? Five new cards. Okay, all shit. That's not good, dude. This is the final battle. You can't be screwing me like this, man. Alright, come on. Let's get rid of all this. I don't need shitty draws. Come on, I know I've got a Meteor Bee Dragon in there. That could save me. I, I just need to draw a Meteor Bee Dragon or pretty much any of my cards with a Megamorph. That's all I need. Alright, we're only gonna survive one more turn with this guy of crappy cards because... Black Skull Dragon, that's fine, I don't care. Alright, so now he's going to attack our life points. That's not good, not good, not good, not good. Alright, if we don't get the right cards, we're going to lose this duel on this turn. Dude, really? You're screwing me right now, game. You're screwing me. You're trying to screw me out of my title. You really are. I think I just lost. I seriously think I just lost 
because the game just gave me all my shitty cards as my first 20 cards in the game. Oh, you're not doing this to me right now, game. You're not doing this to me. Oh, God. You're doing this to me. You really are. I don't believe this sh I really don't believe this sh You had to give me all of my worst cards as my first 16 cards. You couldn't throw one Megamorph in there or one Meteor B Dragon um, during the final battle. You really couldn't do that? This is not good. Unless he sets down a Magic or Trap card, I have lost. Bitch. Shit, motherfucker. Oh no! Really? On the last battle, you had to do this to me? The last battle. Oh my god. The last battle. Oh, holy shit. Okay, guys. Um, Well, I was fighting my way back through the final boss gauntlet, and I just beat Neku, and we won Zoa. Holy shit. I mean, I kicked his ass, yeah, but I didn't expect to win that good of a car. Cool. That'll be in our deck if we can win this time. All right, I'll see you guys back in Nightmare. All right, guys, so we are back here. Uh, I just defeated High Shin, and I kicked his ass, actually, pretty bad. We got a good card in Echo Gall number two. So I beat all those first three guys again on my first try. I figured I'd cut in here because Seto 3 could do something different. He could have a much better deck this time, whereas last time he didn't draw his best card, you know. So I figured I'd show from this part on again to kind of build up the tension again. And, you know, it sucks that I lost a Nightmare. It definitely does. But, you know, that's just kind of the reality of this game is this final boss gun, how grueling it is. You can get to the final, final battle and then get your ass kicked and all the good cards you may have won, all the starships you won, all of the, you know, ability you may have gained mentally, you're, it's just gone. Just like that and you gotta start back out. You kicked all the way out of the vast shrine, man, that's it. So you know that's how it is. But that is fine and since we beat these guys so easily this way through, I don't know guys, I think my deck is pretty good. I think I've learned it well, I think I mastered its abilities and as long as we get semi-decent draws, I think I could beat anybody really. I mean, I have no, I honestly have no right with this deck beating Seto 3 or uh, Dark Knight. Dark Knight's honestly not that good, but I don't have any. Yeah, see, we got uh, Neko Gall number two. Yeah, he's not that good. And then I got this one from the other guy. We actually did really good. Um, Not going to put them in there, though. Not going to mess up the fluidity of my deck, you know? All right, so let's see if we can beat Seto third this time. I have a feeling I'm going to lose here, though. That's okay. We can do it. We got this. Come on. Yeah. Let's, oh, okay, so Megamorph, that is a good first draw, I'll take that. But I'm actually going to get rid of all these guys and summon me a Twin-Headed Thunder Penis. I'm not going to equip him with Megamorph, because even if he does, even if I do, if he summons Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon, it'll kill me, even with Megamorph, and it will be kind of a waste of Megamorph. So, what has he got? Let's see, I'm sure he's going to get it this time, since he didn't get it last time. Uh, yes, there it is, the Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Well, at least you got to see that. Look at that thing. It's three-headed Blue-Eyes freaking White Dragon. That thing is crazy. But guess what? It's gonna die, I think. Well, actually, it's not gonna die because... All right, well, let's get rid of all these jokers first. And let's summon, uh, Meteor Black Dragon with Megamorph. That will put him on equal attack power with the blue eyes ultimate dragon so i don't think he's gonna go defensive with it i don't think he's gonna go to defense mode but i'm not gonna waste my meteor b dragon killing his blue eyes ultimate because he might have more than one but all i know is that i don't think he's gonna kill my meteor black dragon with anything so i'm just gonna let his guys sit tight there all right and if oh yes that's what i was gonna say if i can draw like one more bright castle or something that would be great because now 5,000 attack guess what your blue eyes is gonna die he's gonna die yeah he's dead See you later, bitch. Oh, we just killed the strongest monster in the game. Got it. Nice. High five. All right, let's see what else he's got. I was kind of scared that he was going to use, like, a Regeki or something and just kill my dudes. All right, we need to start summoning other... We need to start looking into other options here, like summoning more monsters. Now, I'm going to start getting... You're going to see me doing this a lot now in these duels, is, like, getting rid of all my cards in my hand. Because, honestly, I don't care about the ranking, and that's all that really affects. And I need to get to the good cards in my deck. That's just plain and simple. All right, Meteor B. I'm going to attack the Sun one, because I have a feeling that's another Blue-Eyes ultimate. Oh, no, it's just regular Blue-Eyes. Damn, boy. Well, I got 2,000 killed with 2,000 life points. I shouldn't attack this. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't attack this. I'm not going to attack that. 
I have a feeling it's got more than 2,500 attack, and I'm just going to kill myself and look like a dunce. Uh, oh god, a trap card. Well, I was right. It was a gate guardian. Hello. Hold the phone. Great, now I'm scared to attack that. Eesh, because of that trap card. Oh my god. Well, let's set a widespread ruin down. I don't know. Please don't kill me. Oh god, no. What is it? Oh, no! That could have screwed me right there. This duel could be over. Oh, shit. That is not good. That is not good. My widespread ruin. Great. Now he's got open. Uh, see what I mean? Seto 3. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon isn't his only just devastating monster. You know, he's got good magic cards and shit like that, too. Okay, so we might have a problem here. He's got moon. I don't have anybody with sun. Oh, well, I have Parrot Dragon, but whoopty fucking do, right? All right, we need to get rid of these cards, because I think we're only going to survive. I don't think we're even going to survive this turn, to be honest with you guys. I think Seto 3 is going to kill us here, and that sucks, because I want to keep my Zoa card, damn it. I want to keep my Zoa card. Set down a Magic or Trap, please, 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 please. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. We just lost. I hate you. I hate you, Seto. I fucking hate you. All right, guys, well, I'm going to duel through him again. I am not grinding, that's for sure, so I'll meet you guys. Back here next time, without Zoa. Oh, without Zoa. Damn it, no. Well, at least it was a good duel, right? Ha, ha, ha! Okay, guys, we are here again, and once again, I beat all the first three guys on the first try. It doesn't seem like that's a problem anymore. But anyway, we are about to fight Seto third for the third time. Third time is a charm. We are not going to lose to this guy this time, I promise you that, okay? Even if he summons his Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Gay Guardian, I don't care who he summons. We got this, because I just took a drink of Dr. Peppa. And I have a feeling that this will be great. All right, let's do it. The final battle. What a liar. Yeah, we got pretty crappy cards from the first three guys this time. I mean, they're all right, but they're no Zoa. <laughs> I'll never get over that. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, hmm. Interesting. All right, let's uh, let's just go for the let's go for the twin-headed thunder dragon combo. Oops, I made guy the dragon champion. Well, does that still make? Yeah, okay, it still makes twin-headed thunder dragon. I was like, well, I don't know, cause that's kind of weird. All right, let's see what we got. And oh, it's not blue eyes. Oh, it's meteor bee dragon. Okay, that's a little better. I mean, I definitely prefer 3,500 attack to 4,500, that's for damn sure. Okay, we got shit here. We got absolute shit. He's gonna use Harpy's Feather Duster, too. Fuck me. Uh, I don't wanna just use only one card right here, but Widespread Rune is good. I just hope he doesn't use Harpy's Feather Duster. Because if he does, we might lose again. Yeah, shit, dude, why do. Ugh! It's like he always has that card at the ready. Like, he always draws it on the first turn just in case he gets pooped. You know? Okay, thankfully we can still survive one more turn. Alright, let's go. Let's get all of these cards out of here. Because all of these are useless now. Please! Give me something good in my next turn. Please, for the love of God. God damn it. Alright, what is he going to do? Summon another monster? Yeah. Unless it's a blue eyes ultimate. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's a regular blue eyes. Damn it, if I would have left him in attack mode. You know, shit. All right, regular blue eyes isn't that bad. Could be triple as worse. Um, can I do anything? 3,500. Okay, yeah, we can do something with this. Let me get rid of these guys. And then if I, I can't believe I'm equipping Great Mammoth of Goldfine to become my best card right now. But you know, sometimes that happens. All right, so 3,700. Now, what do I want to equip him with? Blue Eyes White Dragon is Sun, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to do Moon, even though it's, you know, not that bad. Alright, so let's kill, obviously, Meteor B first. He's the bigger threat here. Alright, now hopefully he just doesn't summon Blue Eyes Ultimate, because anything, pretty much if he, if anything bad happens, we're dead. Oh, a magic card, great. I'm a little scared. That frightens me. What? Why are you attacking me? What the hell? I was face up! What? <laughs> Are you- what? 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 I was face up, you saw I had 3700 attack, and you still attacked me and killed yourself? I'm- 
I'm a little lost here. Okay, yeah, fine. Kill Meteor B. I don't care. He was just a he was just a farce anyway. I don't understand what just happened. Seto just committed suicide. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? What the hell? Do you want to die? Oh my god. What? <laughs> it's face up. Wow. Holy crap. I don't... Did Seto just give mercy to us? What the hell? Oh well. I do not believe that just happened. Not like this. I know that I killed myself, but to come this close and lose to you. Please, not like this. Ugh. Sorry, Seto, I've got to destroy the items. It's the only way. Oh, hi, Shin. What a surprise. Hello. Oh, knives. Well, you're bringing a knife to a children's card game fight, hi, Shin. Let Seto go. Yes, I do think you're foolish enough. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Of course he's descended from the Dark Household. He's frickin' Kaiba, man. Kaiba is evil. I don't know, you're kind of old, and that beard is just weird. You know, with all those jewelry and things. Jafar? That's a big surprise. Wait, if it can only be opened by one of the dark, how come me and uh, the Tomb Keeper, what was his name, Sadine, were able to open it? Neither one of us are descendants of the dark, unless I'm a descendant of the dark, in which case, awesome! No! Don't give it to him, Yugi! I mean, Scope! Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Well, guess what? You may think this is all fun and games, you're summoning Dark Knight, but guess what, Haishin? You're about to be turned into a card and burned! God, this is a little anticlimactic since we've already seen it, but you know what? It's not anticlimactic because we're going to win this time. Yeah, baby. You know, the Millennium Rod didn't have that little orb on top of it in the anime. I don't think it did. I don't know why it does now. Oh, hello, Dark Knight. Ha-ha. You command me to obey with what items? Yeah, you, Haishin, you should have been a little nicer. You should have been like, oh, hey, Dark Knight, what's up? You want a soda? You want to chill? You know, and then later maybe we could talk about this whole obeying thing. Oh my god, the music. It's epic. Here, let's listen to the music while we wait for the battle to start. Ha <laughs> ha, you got turned into a card. I wonder what attack and defense power Haishin would have. Probably nothing. Not to mention the ugliest one, too! Oh, I can't get out with that line. And we're about to see my favorite picture in the game! Yes! Haishin dying! Thank god. Dude, what the hell? Alright. Long have I shared my power through the cards I've created. <coughs> so now he's going to turn us into cards. Great. Yes, let's do it. I have the power of the cards. Look at this, bitch. Oh, well, all of a sudden he doesn't have sharp nails anymore. He's like, eh, what? Plot twist. Yeah, baby. I've got the cards that Yugi gave me. So it is all thanks to Yugi that we're... So I guess in the beginning, since we got trapped in the puzzle and had to collect those cards, it ultimately was a good thing, because without it, we would have uh, been turned into cards here, and that would have been a quite uneventful ending. So it's actually good that that happened. And of course we got to grind for better cards, you know, so <laughs> there's that. Come on, let's play! Let's do! It's time to drool, Dark Knight. The Batman. Let's do it, man. I've been standing up this whole time, by the way, guys. I'm in tense gaming position. I'm ready. Come on, Dark Knight. I will not lose to you this time. Ugh, that is just... Okay, I'm not going to fuse Curse of Dragon with him because he can be stronger without him with this equip card. With my nice, handy equip card. The Kurao Chain. All right, 2800 is probably not good enough to stand up to whatever he's going to summon here. But you know what? And this music reminds me of Duelist of the Roses so bad. Oh, Cosmo Queen, huh? Come on, that's a card High Shin would have. That's weak sauce. All right, so now what do we got? Ooh, Meteor B Dragon. That'll do it. That'll do the trick. But in first, let's get rid of all these crapalonious cards. Um, actually, no. Let's 
Oops. Sorry, I just want to make sure Meteor B doesn't fuse with that and make Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, because that would be quite underwhelming. Although I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that, because the monster has to be below the, below the attack of the fusion producing monster. Alright. Die, Cosmo Queen! Ha ha! You know, Dark Knight has some really crappy cards for being the creator of this game or so, creating the cards, so he says. Oh yeah, defense mode. <laughs> Scared me, I thought he might have a gate guardian or something there. Alright, uh, let's go for Twin Headed Thunder Penis. And fusion ha! Yeah, baby. You know, a lot of people were talking in my con in the comments about how whether this game would be, um, or they talked about what card would be my signature card through this game. Ooh, summon Skull. We haven't seen him yet. And a lot of people, I would agree that through my gameplay, it would probably be the Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. He's who I've used the most. Um, but if I were to have to pick one that would be like my signature card, I would pick something cool like Zoa because he's just cool. You know, he's not super powerful, so it's not like cliche but he's not super weak and he's like just powerful and he's got enough potential to be really cool. Or maybe like Skull Knight. I love Skull Knight, but I wouldn't choose like Dark Magician or Twin Headed Thunder Dragon or anything like that. I don't know. I just prefer something cool like Zoa. And he's just got the coolest name, Zoa. Zoa's always been one of my most favorite cards. All right, so what does this guy have? Oh, it's a Uranus. So it's probably a Millennium Shield. Oh no, Boulder Tortoise. Great. Could have killed him. Alright, I still might have enough to kill Dark Knight here. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna kill Dark Knight? Ha ha! You're dead! I win! Boom! Once again, you have been defeated. Now, transform and we shall duel to the death. What do I get? Air Eater? Oh, come on. Really? Uh, weak sauce. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Th this is not fair! Me? Me? I cannot lose! I created the cards! Well, guess what? You should have gave yourself some of the better ones, because you suck. I cannot lose! Yes, you can! And you will. Come, boy! One more time! One more game! It's time to drool for the final time. Alright, guys, we are back in the final battle. Let's get super excited about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, Air Eater had 2100 attack? I just realized that. Holy crap. Why did I not... Anyway, guys, here we are. Final duel against Nightmare. Same music as Dark Knight, so don't worry about that. But I am not giving into this guy this time. All right, first, let's get rid of all our Crapolonius cards, and let's do a t let's do a Meteor B Dragon with Bright Castle. Now, I'm 100% sure this guy doesn't have a uh, what is it? Should I go with Mars? I'm gonna go with Sun. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, so I don't think he has anything that can beat that. I think the strongest this guy has is Gate Guardian. And he's just got a bunch of good cards like Harpy's Feather Duster and whatnot. So I think 4,000 attack should hold us this whole time. Alright, so let's get rid of all these. And let's make a twin-headed thunder penis. Let's do it. Oh, what? No, I didn't. 1,000 dragon. <laughs> get out of here, man. Get out of here with that crap. Cat crap. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Twin-headed thunder. Alright, I'm super excited. I'm talking fast like I did last time we did this. Alright. Attack! It was the Gay Guardian, and I knew he would put Moon. That's why I picked Sun. I was going to pick Mars because I thought he would go with that, but no. It seems Gay Guardian always goes with Moon. Maybe I was incorrect. I don't know, but all I know is this guy's got 44, 50 life points left. What are you going to do? Come on. Your options are limited. Your options are limited, Nightmare. What are you going to do? Oh my god. Oh, well, I expected that. Perfect ultimate gray mouth. Ha ah! I laugh at that. You know, if I would have chosen Mars, I'd have the Guardian Star advantage against this guy because he chooses Jupiter, but you know what? Not too worried about that. Alright, I'm going to get rid of all my cards here. This is kind of bad because I'm getting rid of all my cards. So there's a possibility my deck right might run out of cards. But I think we've got this guy, to be honest. I think we've got him on the fences. He's about to die. He's going to die. Yeah. Next turn, I'm calling it. Next turn, we will beat the game. Alright, 2650 direct damage. You like that? Yeah. I know you're going to kill Skull Knight next turn, but guess what? I don't care because the turn after that, you're going to die. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, guess what, guys? It's time for death. I'm going to set down a widespread ruin just in case something goes horribly awry, but it's not going to because attack! Ha! Your blue eyes white dragon is dead, and now Dark Knight or Nightmare with 300 life points left. Skull Knight will deliver the final blow. Skull Knight, destroy this fool! And you go back to whence you came, Nightmare. You Batman wannabe. Oh, and we get Curse of Dragon. <laughs> We've already got three of those, but thanks for the thought. At least we got a good card. Not that it matters, you know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, not again! No! Ha! 
That was epic. I love how they put that little last voice acting in. Well, what now? We sent him back. Is everything okay? Seto, where are you? Oh, Seto's gone, and his hat's off from when Haishin knocked it off. And that's us. We're leaving. Is everything okay? That day, Seto left the ruins, never to be seen again. You don't say. I wonder where he is now. Well, apparently he lived on because Kaiba is his descendant. Egypt was unified once again under the rule of Scope. To protect mankind, he ordered the forbidden ruins to be buried. Scope became the greatest of the pharaohs, bringing prosperity to all he ruled. The vile mages were no more. This was the tale of Scope, he whom we call Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, we did it! We saved Egypt! We buried the forbidden ruins. And yes, we will save. Um, that also leads into the anime, how later on it gets excavated, the forbidden ruins actually, and the Millennium items are there once again, and they get dispersed among everybody, and Yugi is Yu-Gi-Oh, or uh, Prince Atam, or Scope in this case, is descendant, whereas Kaiba is the descendant of uh, Seto, so that's how they are destined to, you know, meet and uh, fight it out for their whole lives. Secret number 68685631. All right, so this is very important. Uh, you want to keep this code. If you have ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, it is a uh, PlayStation 2 game. It is, I guess you could say, the uh, sequel of this game. This code will be important. It's not important for this game, however. But you know what? I'm going to keep it anyway. I'm going to take a picture of it. That is not a very clear picture. Let me try and take it again. There we go. Okay, I just took a picture of it on my phone because I'm too lazy to write it down. So, there you go. You get that every time you beat the game, you'll get a different different secret number, I believe. And with that, guys, that is the credits. We have completed Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories with a not super overpowered deck. And, oh, cool, we get some of the 3D effects here in the background. That's very nice. That's the uh, Kairu, Kairu Shin card or whatever. And we get some nice little credits music. Oh, but anyway, guys, this game program direction gun <laughs> this game um it's a definitely a unheard of game a very underrated game oh look that's exodia's left leg anyway and not a lot of people play it i mean not a lot of people are fan of Yu-Gi-Oh in the first place and you don't see many lps of Yu-Gi-Oh games around and you know what i was just having so much trouble deciding what game i was gonna lp i made that video and I was just looking through my game collection. I saw this game and I was like, you know what? I had so much fun with this game at one point. I used to seriously sit and grind every day to try and find win cards that nobody has ever won. That are unconfirmed, you know, like Black Skull Dragon and things like that. And I would just play this game to death. And I would go on the forums and I'd talk with people about it. And it was just the funnest time I've ever had when I was, like, unemployed. And honestly got me wanting it kind of started leaning me towards the LPing because I wanted to play games and like talk with people about it at the same time but you know so there's that and honestly this is just a really great game for a PlayStation 1 game and it's really good and not to mention a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh games nowadays are pretty crap to be honest they just go over the top and I don't like all the new you know 5Ds and all the new dice monsters and all that crap I just like the original Yu-Gi-Oh game this game is so simple it's got simple magic trap cards. It doesn't go too over the top with rules and shit like that. And uh, it's genuinely hard. As you can see towards the end of the game there, it gets super, super difficult. And I like it. It makes you almost have to grind. I usually don't like that, but grinding is kind of fun in this game. And I don't know. I just love this game. It's uh, very close to my heart, near and dear to me, like a lot of the games I LP. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if in the future you want to see another Yu-Gi-Oh! LP from me, let me know. And I will definitely think about it. I am definitely considering LPing in the future Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. That is a PS2 game, like I said. The sequel to this game, it's got a lot of different rules. It's actually played completely different. But I love it. I love the soundtrack, and I love it. I don't love it as much as this game, but it's really good. So um, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys about this game, and I'm glad you all enjoyed it. I didn't think it would get as much positive feedback as it did from you guys. I thought you guys would just be like, whoa, and this would be like, you know, my LP, my most hated LP that never got watched, but I just wanted to do it, and I'm glad it went over so well. So if you guys like it, I'll definitely do more games like this in the future. And yeah, oh, there's Mushroom Man. But as for this LP, do we have bonus episodes planned? Yes, I have a bonus episode. I'll probably put it all into one bonus episode. But I plan to show, um, I plan to get all the Exodia pieces. I might just cheat to do that because they're 
nearly impossible to get. I think the legs you have to pay for, and these each cost 99.99 star chips. So, um, and I'm going to show you the summoning of, summoning of Exodia, which is an instant win in this game. So I'm going to show you that, and then I will also show you. Let's see, what else is there to show? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I can't think of any other um, things I want to show besides the summoning of Exodia. Uh, I guess I could just show some other good cards you can win. I'm not going to try and win them. I could just tell you who to win them from and where you can win them from. And, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for bonus episodes, let me know. I know I still have to do that Super Mario Sunshine bonus episode. I'm working on that, actually. I have some recorded, so... Um, yeah, just let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. And is this screen going to stay here forever? I'm pressing every button in existence. It doesn't look like it's going away. Yeah, well, anyway, I saved, so I'm just going to reset the game here, and let's see. So, yep, that's it. That is the end of the Let's Play of Hugo Forbidden Memories. Like I said, it is a short game, but it's awesome. So, let's see what we can do after we've saved here. Yay! Yeah, it's going to go through all these screens again. But, yeah, so the final boss gauntlet, really tough. Tough guys. About six bosses. It was six bosses in a row. Yeah, Sebek, Neku, Haishin, Seto, Dark Knight, Nightmare. Yep. And you don't get to retain any of the cards unless you beat the game. So, definitely tough stuff. Alright, so let's see. And now once we start up the game, we can load. And it will load complete. And since we saved at the end of the game, now if you go into Free Duel, you can go to Build Your Deck also, and you'll notice that you kept all of the cards you won and Star Chips you won from the final duels. And now, as you will notice, yay, we have all of the end game people. So the last person we have is set to a second here. And now we have Sebek and Neku, and of course Haishin second. Uh, I don't recommend dueling Haishin second though, because Haishin second and Haishin first actually give off the same cards. If you win against them, they have the same exact drop rates. And Haishin one is a lot easier than Haishin two, because Haishin two has like Gate Guardian and whatnot. And then of course there's Seto third, the hardest duelist in the game in my opinion. And uh, you can win Blue Eyes White Dragon and whatnot off him. I love his face right there though, he's like, ha ha ha, winning! Yeah, dead puppies right there. And then, of course, we've got Dark Knight Nightmare. Surprisingly, these guys actually don't give off that great cards. They don't have that good drop rates, but they are not that hard as well. So, if you want to grind afterwards, I would recommend Seto 3rd and uh, Sebek Neku. You can also win really good ones from other people, like Haishu and stuff. And, yeah, we've got an almost full out de full, fully decked out free dual screen. I missed Villager 3, but you know what? Honestly, I would have never dueled him anyway. He doesn't really give off any good cards. He's very easy to miss along with Seto second here, so yeah, looks like that is it for Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, guys. In the next bonus episode, I will show you guys Exodia and some other stuff. I also haven't showed you off this library. Any cards you gain throughout the game will be shown here. As you can see, we've gotten quite a bit. And if you click X on a card, you can read its, you know, thing here. And then if you press, what is it? Oh, nope. And if, what do, you, what do you have to press here? Okay, yeah, if you press the right button, it will show you their 3D animation. So that's cool. You want to see the 3D animation of any Pokemon. Damn it, I just called him a Pokemon. Any monster, you can do that here. So yeah, for like example, you want to see Firewing Pegasus. And there you go, Firewing Pegasus. We never really saw that. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. That's all I really have to show off. In the bonus episode, I'll show you guys Exodia, and you can leave me comments letting me know what else you want to see. As for my next LP, I think I'm going to hold off for a while, maybe make some headway into uh, Pokemon Sapphire and Super Mario Galaxy 2, since those are both really long games, and I don't want to be sitting here doing three really long games as LPs, because that's kind of depressing, you know? Um, so yeah, um, but I will be starting it later. I probably just won't be able to hold off starting a new one for a while. I always end up doing that. I say I'm going to hold off, and then I do it because I'm so excited. Starting LP, new LP is always so exciting. But anyways, um, it'll be a while. As for what it is, complete secret, but I'm sure you guys will love it. Um, as for more Yu-Gi-Oh! games, like I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, possibly in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I will see you guys in my next LP. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. This is Scope, signing out.